Welcome to Note Codable, the YouTube channel where I share tips, tricks, and information on how to build production ready and enterprise applications and business automations by leveraging nothing but no code and low code platforms. In this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a floating header that stays on top of the page when the page is scrolled. Like all my recent videos, this will be done leveraging the new responsive engine in Bubble.io. So let's dive right in. So first of all, you might ask, what is a floating header? So you can see at the top of this uh, this page on YouTube that as I scroll the page content and the page moves, the header doesn't. Right. So in my current Bubble application, you can see if I scroll the page, the header scrolls with the page. So how can we make it to where the header doesn't scroll? So it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to start by actually deleting this header. And again, this page is using the new responsive engine um, and the layout of this page is column. So I'm simply going to take a floating group, place it on my page. I'm going to do some layout here. I'm going to make this a row. I'm going to center it. Um, I'm not going to make it fixed width. The minimum width uh, is going to be, uh, we'll say zero. The minimum height we'll say is 25. Um, but we're going to fit the height, the content. Uh, and then in this floating group, let me go ahead and put in here that this is for my header. But so in this floating group, I'm going to place my header. Okay. And you'll notice um, if I go back to my floating group quickly, that you'll see that I'm placing this top, it's gonna to be left justified, and it's above the elements, right? So those are the important things. Now, one thing you'll notice though, is since it's above the elements, I've got an issue where actually the header is going to be uh, on top of my, my uh, repeating group in the page here. So let's just see what that looks like. So you can see this, this isn't looking very good at all, right? So the easy way to fix this is to go into uh, my body group here and just add some margin to, uh, to this group. So I'm just gonna come down and give it probably about 60 pixels and you can see that that probably lines up pretty well with the bottom of the header. So now if I preview, there you can see it scrolls. Now the reason it looks like this when I scroll is because I have uh, a transparent background on my header. And you can actually see that if I go into edit my header, you can see that um, I've got my, go over here to, oops, sorry, it's actually on this one. You can see that I've got my transparency uh, all the way to zero, right? So what I need to do is actually go in and in my um, page here, I need to set the background color uh, of my floating header to a white. So let's do that. Let's say, let's just remove the style and say it's gonna be a flat color and we'll just do white. So now let's look at what we got. All right, so now you can see that it, uh, as it scrolls, it goes behind the header. Um, I'm gonna add a little more styling actually. I'm going to put uh, an outset shadow. We'll make it a little darker maybe. Uh, and then actually the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna put a conditional. And I'm gonna say when the current page scrolling position is greater than let's say 50 pixels, I wanna change the background color. And we'll just change it to like a light gray. And we'll see what that does. So the, the shadow looks very nice. As I scroll, you can, there you go. You can see the color of the, um, of the header change. So that's it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, and, and obviously hit the bell notification. So as I release new videos, uh, you'll be notified. In 2022, I'm planning on publishing a lot more content like this to the channel. So if this is something you find useful, uh, you know, like, subscribe uh, to the channel uh, and share the channel with your friends. Um, so hopefully they can find something useful uh, out of it as well.
But again, that's all for today. Hope you found it useful. Thanks so much and happy no coding.